This is the Cambridge English First, Test 4. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear each piece twice. Remember, while you're listening, write your answers on the question paper. You'll have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B or C. Question one. You hear a sports person talking about her sporting career. When I work so hard for any competition and then it's over, the following weeks can be really difficult, quite an anticlimax. But then the next competition comes along and I get straight back into training. But this time it'll be different. I'll miss it, of course I will. But at some point in your career, you have to say enough is enough and... I wanted to finish at the top of my game. I don't have any plans yet, but it won't be anything connected with sport. I've always wanted to be a writer, so perhaps I'll do a writing course next. When I work so hard for any competition and then it's over, the following weeks can be really difficult, quite an anticlimax. But then the next competition comes along and I get straight back into training. But this time it'll be different. I'll miss it, of course I will. But at some point in your career, you have to say enough is enough and I wanted to finish at the top of my game. I don't have any plans yet, but it won't be anything connected with sport. I've always wanted to be a writer, so perhaps I'll do a writing course next. Question 2. You hear two friends talking about a laboratory experiment. How do you think the experiment went then? Not sure, really. It was pretty exciting at the time, but now we have to work out what it all means. Yes. It always does take a while to analyze the results. I just hope we did it all properly. Yeah, that's what concerns me. If we got anything wrong, then we'll have to start all over again, which would be a pain. True, but I think we were very careful. I can't see why we should have to repeat it all. I hope you're right. How do you think the experiment went then? Not sure, really. It was pretty exciting at the time, but now we have to work out what it all means. Yes, it always does take a while to analyze the results. I just hope we did it all properly. Yeah, that's what concerns me. If we got anything wrong, then we'll have to start all over again, which would be a pain. True. But I think we were very careful. I can't see why we should have to repeat it all. I hope you're right. Question 3. You overhear a student calling his university department. Hello. I wonder if I could talk to someone about the History of Art course? My teacher told me I could call your department if I needed to discuss anything, and I do. The trouble is, I'm finding it difficult to get all the work for this course module done on time. Even though the classes are great, and that's very much because of the teacher, Mr Flynn, I just can't keep up. So I wondered if I could come in and see the head of department about the problem. Hello. I wonder if I could talk to someone about the History of Art course? My teacher told me I could call your department if I needed to discuss anything, and I do. The trouble is, I'm finding it difficult to get all the work for this course module done on time. Even though the classes are great, and that's very much because of the teacher, Mr Flynn, I just can't keep up. So I wondered if I could come in and see the head of department about the problem. Question 4. You hear two friends talking about a website. 
Did you have a look at that study skills website I told you about? Yes, I did. And what did you think? Well, I had no trouble finding my way around it, which was good. Is that all? Did you find any ideas you could use yourself? Not really, I'm afraid. Oh dear, it sounds as if you found it a bit dull. Well, it's just that I've seen a lot of those ideas before. It's hard for people to come up with anything new, I suppose. That's true. If you come across a good one, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. Did you have a look at that study skills website I told you about? Yes, I did. And what did you think? Well, I had no trouble finding my way around it, which was good. Is that all? Did you find any ideas you could use yourself? Not really, I'm afraid. Oh dear, it sounds as if you found it a bit dull. Well, it's just that I've seen a lot of those ideas before. It's hard for people to come up with anything new, I suppose. That's true. If you come across a good one, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. Question 5. You hear a man talking about his decision to become a singer. I don't come from a particularly musical family and it was very difficult to tell my parents I wanted to become a singer because they obviously didn't want me to do it. I'm sure my mother would have been equally annoyed if I'd gone into classical music. She just thought music wasn't a viable career choice. She's always had faith in me as a person and knows I'm very determined and would succeed whatever I chose to do, but she wanted me to get some qualifications behind me first. Once I started to become successful, she was grudgingly happy for me, but she was still convinced it wouldn't last. I don't come from a particularly musical family, and it was very difficult to tell my parents I wanted to become a singer because they obviously didn't want me to do it. I'm sure my mother would have been equally annoyed if I'd gone into classical music. She just thought music wasn't a viable career choice. She's always had faith in me as a person and knows I'm very determined and would succeed whatever I chose to do, but she wanted me to get some qualifications behind me first. Once I started to become successful, she was grudgingly happy for me, but she was still convinced it wouldn't last. Question 6. You overhear a man calling a TV shop. Hello. I came into your shop a few days ago to look at TVs. You didn't have the one I wanted in stock, but you said you could order it for me. My name's Hogg, Jim Hogg. I paid when I was in the shop, and I got a message just now saying the TV's arrived. When I came in the other day, your colleague said one of your van drivers could drop it off one evening next week. I'm usually back from work after six, so if you want to come by... Hello. I came into your shop a few days ago to look at TVs. You didn't have the one I wanted in stock, but you said you could order it for me. My name's Hogg, Jim Hogg. I paid when I was in the shop, and I got a message just now saying the TVs arrived. When I came in the other day, your colleague said one of your van drivers could drop it off one evening next week. I'm usually back from work after six, so if you want to come by... Question 7. You hear two friends talking about a meal. Well, that meal was okay. I can't manage a dessert. How was your fried fish, Anna? Mm, it was quite nice, though it could have been hotter. I'm not sure that salad went with it either. I'd have preferred some cooked vegetables. Yours look really good with your steak. Yeah, they would have been a much better combination with your meal. Maybe we should have swapped. I like salad with steak. Anyway, it was a pretty reasonable price. <laughs> Yours was. Mine was a bit much, I reckon. We both had a lot of food on our plates, though. Can't complain about that. I guess not. Well, that meal was OK. I can't manage a dessert. How was your fried fish, Anna? Mm, it was quite nice, though it could have been hotter. I'm not sure that salad went with it either. I'd have preferred some cooked vegetables. Yours look really good with your steak. Yeah, they would have been a much better combination with your meal. Maybe we should have swapped. I like salad with steak. Anyway, it was a pretty reasonable price. <laughs> Yours was. 
Mine was a bit much, I reckon. We both had a lot of food on our plates, though. Can't complain about that. I guess not. Question 8. You hear a college lecturer talking to a student. So, that's good news, isn't it? You won't actually need to hand the project in until next month now, which gives you a couple of extra weeks. I know you can do it all yourself, and I'm sure it'll be very good. You've always produced excellent work in the past, haven't you? Everything you need to know has been covered in the lessons, and there are plenty of books in the library. You can also use the computers there if you need to go online for more information. So, there's really nothing to worry about, is there? So, that's good news, isn't it? You won't actually need to hand the project in until next month now, which gives you a couple of extra weeks. I know you can do it all yourself, and I'm sure it'll be very good. You've always produced excellent work in the past, haven't you? Everything you need to know has been covered in the lessons, and there are plenty of books in the library. You can also use the computers there if you need to go online for more information. So, there's really nothing to worry about, is there? That is the end of part one.